Jason Statham is a bona fide action star. There's no doubting that. But in Redemption, he's trying to prove his acting chops, trying to show that he can pull off a drama. And he kind of does, actually. He's a special forces soldier who's come back from the war and has lost himself to the streets of London. He's drunk and he's homeless. But when he's pushed to the edge, he decides to reinvent himself, to redeem himself and get a little revenge in the process in a film that I found myself actually liking it when I thought I was going to start laughing. I like Jason Statham and his movies because he's a kick-ass action guy. So as a dramatist, I was like, oh, come on, dude, you're the transporter. But in this film, he proves me wrong. In Redemption, he plays a man that is hopeless and broken, goes to being a badass, and then we see the guilt and the weight of the life that he's led that's really just pulling this guy down and tearing him apart. I couldn't believe the level of depth I was getting out of Jason Statham. But then there was a problem. The film never let me go further. The film never gave me the opportunity to see if Jason Statham could go and be a better dramatic actor because of some forced subplots that just took me out of it. The screenwriters decided to jam in an underworld hitman occupation for Statham in this film that for me is completely unnecessary. Had they left that out, we would have gotten some better acting out of this. We'd have got some better scene work. However, we did get some pretty damn good action. We have some wonderful, short, but very well choreographed fight sequences but still, people, this is a dramatic turn for an action star. They could have done better in giving a reason for him to have some action scenes so we could have gotten more dramatic acting. I liked Redemption, but I think I could have loved it had they just not jammed in the whole Underworld Enforcer thing and given Statham something deeper, something with a little bit more meat on it to chew on it. But this movie proves to me he has the chops to be a dramatic actor. There's a danger in that. What if Sylvester Stallone believes he can be a dramatic actor? No, we don't need to go through that again. 